Here's the latest on Hurricane Irma. Still with hurricane watches in effect from Pinellas and Hillsborough County to the north. Hurricane warnings from Anna Maria Island down to the south. Still winds of 155 miles an hour, and this is moving due west. And very quickly, Cuba, or at least the northern coast of Cuba, will be interacting with this. There's certainly the chance that that could cause a little bit of weakening. And if it were to stay west even a little bit longer, it's kind of good news, bad news. The farther west it goes, the less likely it's going to take a quick turn to the north. So it could play more of a role west of, say, our interior. And that's definitely something we don't want to deal with. But at this point, we're really too late to be looking at any changes in the model. Now it is honestly just keeping our eyes on the satellite picture, the track. You know what it is? An updated track will be coming out just before 11 o'clock, and we'll have it at 11 o'clock on ABC Action News. But if you haven't seen it, there it is covering the entire state. Tropical storm force winds by Sunday, starting landfall Sunday morning. The impact on our area, if this line is correct, would be pretty extreme in Polk, Hardy, DeSoto Highlands. But if it goes a little more west, we may have to have those conditions even a little bit closer to the coastline. The latest coming up tonight at 11 on ABC Action News.